Hey guys, it's Caden from QB Cubed, and lately I've been getting told to show you guys my cube collection quite a bit. So, as the end of 2016 is coming in fast, I thought I'd show it to you guys. So for one by ones, I have three homemade ones at a Lego. I have a white one, one with the Rubik's logo, and a QBQ one, which I have not finished stickering. For 2x2, I have quite a few. I have a Puzzle Master 2x2 with like clear transparent plastic, a VQ2, a Rubik's Brand 2x2, which was my first 2x2, a Kung Fu Yue Hun. Uh, this is my backup man, a Moi Weipo, Moi Tangpo, a YJ Guampo, not a bad 2x2 for the price, a Psycho Boys 2x2. Still, I agree that this is a pretty underrated 2x2. The MF2S, a newer budget 2x2 on the market, and a Shengxiao Aurora 2x2, which is not very good. I wouldn't recommend buying it. So I have the Vault 3, which is my current main 3x3. A very nice 3x3. I have the Golong Eurasia, which was my old main 3x3 until I got the Vault. Also, not a bad 3x3. The Gans 356S Advanced, very nice 3x3 as well. These are my two stickerless 3x3s. I have a 50mm Zanchi in stickerless black, and I have a 57mm uh, Function Leech Wing. This is the Thunderclap V2. Not a terrible 3x3, but it does have some catching issues. The Shengxiao Fang Young, also not a bad 3x3. Moyu Along V2, which was my first ever speed cube. Moyu Weilong GTS. My two cheap 3x3s, the Yushin Fire, which is actually not a bad cheap 3x3, and the Guanlong, which is just, it's a Guanlong. And finally, these are my three Rubik's Brand 3x3s. I have a 1980s Rubik's Brand, a early to mid 2000s Rubik's Brand, and a Rubik's 2.0 which I have tensioned and put the in, and it's actually not that bad. So these are all my 4x4 puzzles. I have the Psycho Boys G4, which is my main 4x4, a Moe Uesu, my Yusu R, and two Rubik's Brands, uh, one the mid to late 2000s, and a old 80s one that is very, very stiff. I have two 5x5s. I have a Yushin 5x5 in black, and I have the Cycle Boys 5x5 and Stickerless, which is my main 5x5. I also only have one 6x6 right now, and this is a Shengxiao 6x6 with pink plastic. I have one 7x7, and this is the MF7S, a newer 7x7 that just came out. These are all my Scubes. I have the Moe Magnetic Scube, which is not a bad Scube, and it is my main. Kong's Design Scube, which is my backup main. Also a very nice cube, original Moe cube, and the original cheese cube. So these are all my pyraminxes. I have the YJ Yuan pyraminx, which is a cheaper pyraminx. The Moe Magnetic, which is my backup main. The original Moe pyraminx, which is also pretty good still. The Chi Bell pyraminx, which is my main pyraminx. And two Methods pyraminxes, the new one and the 1980s one with gold stickers. I only have two Mega Minxes. I have the X-Men Galaxy Mega Minx in black and flat. And I have an original 1980s Tommy Mega Minx. I also only have two square ones. I have a 1990s square one and I have the new Chi square one. So now we can move on to our non-WC events. So I will start with 3x3 shape mods or just 3x3 sticker mods. So the first one up is the Rubik's Void Cube, a I Cube, which is terrible, a Cross Cube I made out of a Guanlong. This is actually my first successful mod. The Mephrit's Venus Cube, stick, or Super Mario sticker mod, 3x3. The YJ Fisher Cube V2, which is just a Guanlong turned into a Fisher Cube. And finally, I have this Barrel Cube, which I have a feeling is just a Shang Chao legend turned into a barrel. And the rest of these puzzles are going to be cuboids and 
just other non-WCA puzzles. So first up we have the 2x2x3 made by Z, or Z brand, the Rubik's Tower or the 2x2x4 which shape shifts and is a very fun salt, a 1x1x2 which I made at the Lego along with my 1x1. I have a double link 2x2. It's actually a pretty easy puzzle to solve. I've solved it a couple times. A triple linked 2x2. I have solved this once. It's not hard, it's just a very boring solve. A Methods Pocket Cube. A very challenging puzzle and I've only solved it once. A Methods Cube Extreme. You solve it like a cube and then you have to learn a center rotation algorithm. A YJ Elephant 2x2, the gear shift, which is basically just a 2x2 gear cube. The Methods Professor Pyramid. Uh, this was really stiff when I got it, and I just put a little bit of Mario Lube in it, and it actually turns pretty good. I have all these mini 3x3s. These two are just from a party store, and they actually don't turn too bad. I have the Rubik's Keychain one, which turns very bad. Another one that my brother got me. And a Spongebob themed one, which is also pretty bad. I also have the Rubik's brand world's smallest 3x3, which is very bad at turning and it can actually have the edge pieces pop. So not something I like to play with too often. I also have these two mini cube mods. Uh, this is a Lego cube I made out of one of those party cubes and this is two more of those party cubes just fused together to make a Siamese cube. I do have a Rubik's Junior 2x2. I didn't put this in the 2x2 category because it doesn't really fit in because it's not a normal 2x2. And I have a Rubik's 40th Anniversary 3x3. I didn't put this in the 3x3 category just because it's, well, it's just made of wood and it doesn't really fit in with those other 3x3s. So I put it in this category. I have these two snakes. I have a Rubik's brand snake which is normal sized, and I have this mini snake, which I got out of a uh, like candy machine or something. I also have this mini, kind of like a missing link puzzle. And finally, I have two more vintage puzzles. I have my 1986 Rubik's Magic, which has a broken string right here. And I also have this 1980s inversion puzzle, which has its original box. Uh, I have taken it out just to see what it does, and. Basically, all these pieces on it just slide up and down. So, as you can see, they just kind of slide around. And the goal is all those pieces have a blue side. And the goal is to make the cube blue instead of it being red. So, that's going to wrap it up for my cube collection video of the end of 2016, beginning of 2017. I hope you enjoyed. I have no idea how many puzzles I have. If you want to keep count, you can. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, like this video. Subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in the next video.